The newest ultimate driving machine to hit international motorsport, the poetically named BMW M Hybrid V8, is Munich's solution to the LMDH formula, competing against the likes of Cadillac, Porsche, and Acura in the 2023 IMSA WeatherTech Sports Car Championship, and intended to compete in 2024 in the World Endurance Championship and at Le Mans. The M Hybrid is arguably the youngest, if you will, of the four current LMDH slash GTP cars, with a development curve and design that started only about 18 months before the start of the 2023 season. Unlike their competitors, BMW has been away from prototype class racing for over two decades since their V12 LMR last raced in 2000 and they pivoted to Formula One. The leader of the M Hybrid project, Maruzio Lasciuta, apologies for that horrible mispronunciation, was quoted as saying that the project, while benefiting from some similarities and transferable knowledge across their other motorsport activities, has been a different kind of animal. BMW's last prototype effort, the V12 LMR, was a strong performer in its two years of international competition. Developed from the relatively uncompetitive V12 LM that raced in 1998 but struggled with drivetrain reliability, cooling, and aerodynamic inefficiencies, the LMR took advantage of a loophole in the ACO regulations that allowed for a smaller roll hoop covering only the driver's side of the vehicle rather than the whole cockpit, which helped reduce drag and improve cooling airflow. This exploit would later be replicated by most other Le Mans prototypes, including the Audi R8 that proceeded to dominate sports car racing for six years and was the subject of my first video. The V12 LMR retained the same S70 V12 engine as the LM, which was actually derived from the engine built for use in the McLaren F1 road car and Le Mans winning F1 GTR. Capturing wins at Sebring, Sonoma, Laguna Seca, Las Vegas, and Le Mans in 1999, the 2000 season saw budget cuts due to BMW's new focus on Formula One, which, when coupled with Audi's increasingly dominant performances in the R8 and a backflipping crash at Petit Le Mans, led the season to be BMW's last in prototype sports car racing for 22 years. Fast forwarding to the modern day, the M Hybrid V8 is, perhaps unsurprisingly given its name, powered by a twin turbo 4 liter V8, model code P66 3. Derived from the M5 competition road car in conjunction with the spec Bosch Extrac Williams hybrid package shared across all of the LMDH cars. The P663 reportedly develops approximately 640 horsepower and 479 pound feet of torque with the remaining gap to the 670 horsepower LMDH cap covered by the hybrid package. The P66 engine was originally developed by BMW Motorsport in conjun conjunction with AC Schnitzer as a naturally aspirated power plant for their M3 and M4 touring car entries in DTM. In its original guise, it made 480 horsepower, 369 pound-feet of torque, and proved successful in competition, capturing 24 wins and 26 pole positions in 48 races across five seasons. An update in 2017 brought new regulations and increased power, but the Slash 1 revision proved less competitive than the original, netting only four wins across 18 races. The engine was actually retired in 2019 before being revived to power the M-Hybrid. It was at this point that turbos found their way onto the engine, taking the power and torque figures up to those aforementioned 630 horsepower and 479 pound-feet of torque, respectively. Like Cadillac's LMDH, BMW also opted to use Dolores' chassis, and indeed, when examined closely, one can discern clear commonalities in certain structural elements, particularly around the front quarter wings forward of the wheels, and around the rear of the driver's compartment and engine air intake. The classic kidney grille has been reimagined in keeping with BMW's current design language, which is to say, scaled up to a ludicrous level, although unlike most of their current road cars and the M4 GT4s and GT3s, it is a comparatively subtle presentation, largely integrated into the front fascia, instead of the beaver-inspired dental treatment that seems to be the current favored motif of their design department. Indeed, I think the kidney grille design on the M Hybrid looks rather good, especially at night when the LED outline lights are illuminated and provide easy identification of the vehicle when on the racetrack. Indeed, BMW seemed to experience significant teething difficulties as they developed the car, with an abbreviated test schedule becoming even shorter after a planned 24-hour endurance test session at Sebring had to be abrogated due to several mechanical issues, most notably a gearbox failure that, in quotes, cost them quite a bit of time.
Compared to the greater than 30,000 kilometers completed by Porsche in their test campaign, BMW admitted that they were facing a dearth of test data going into the 24 hours of Daytona, with an accumulated distance falling somewhere greater than 10,000 kilometers. This shortfall of experience was made evident at Daytona, with the two entered Team RLL cars at the bottom of the qualifying ranks for LMDH slash GTP, although less than a second off the pace of the leading Acura. The Daytona race itself proved challenging for BMW as well. Less than an hour after the green flag waved, the number 25 car returned to the garage for several hours to perform extensive repairs to its hybrid system, necessitated by a failure of the Bosch Motor Generator Unit, or MGU eventually finishing more than 130 laps down. A later issue with the gearbox caused it to be stuck in third gear during the last few hours of the race, further compounding their struggles. The number 24 fared better, finishing sixth overall, although a break by wire issue necessitated a short garage visit that cost the team about 15 laps to the leader. The engine, however, was reported to run very well, and BMW indicated optimism on the car's pace after the race. Sebring saw nominal improvements for the team in qualifying. Although BMW still qualified two of the three slowest GTP times, they remained close to a second behind the top qualifying Cadillac on a much more technical track. During the race, the number 24 car again struggled, retiring after 172 laps with overheating issues, but the number 25 stayed in the mix and under the radar until redemption for its struggles at Daytona arrived in the most unlikely way, with the fracas between the three race leaders in the last half an hour of the race, clearing the way for a second place finish less than three seconds behind the 31 Wayland Cadillac that topped the podium. BMW has also had success in finding a customer for the M Hybrid, launching a collaboration with longtime Audi partner W Racing Team, or Team WRT, to campaign the car in the World Endurance Championship in 2024. This partnership came about after Audi cancelled their planned LMDH effort, which WRT had intended to run, ending a 13-year-long relationship between the manufacturer and team, as WRT has also switched their GT machinery to BMWs starting with the 2023 season. WRT is also reported to start their test campaign for the M-Hybrid sometime this year before entering competition in 2024. In the more immediate future, next week, on Tax Day, April 15th, the fact that it's a Saturday notwithstanding, IMSA races at the Long Beach Street Circuit, providing another chance for BMW to strive for the top of the podium and clinch their first prototype win in 22 years. Going into the race weekend, IMSA has announced BOP adjustments, with all four LMDH cars receiving several kilograms of weight reduction, as shown in the table here. Additionally, all of BMW's competitors have received slight reductions in the amount of energy that can be used per stint, while BMW has received modest increases in both stint energy allowance and horsepower. Porsche additionally lost the same amount of horsepower that BMW gained. There's no word yet on whether or not this involved a subcontract to Dick Dastardly and Muttley to secretly connect up the, to the 963 and borrow its engine's output, or whether a less wacky approach was involved. As for this video's call to action not containing the three sacred words of YouTube, three like, comment, subscribe. We have two. One suggested by my brother in law, who was unaware the next video would, ironically, be about a BMW, and one more in my normal vein. The first is a kind and friendly reminder to check your blinker fluid at your car's next fuel stop or service. And the second is a suggestion to, as we're moving into springtime, perhaps consider planting a small garden this year if you have the time and space, or even just some herbs and tomatoes on your front or back porch. Growing things is a wonderfully therapeutic exercise in addition to supplementing your diet with foods and flavors that are better and more nutritious than those you can find in the supermarket. Two other small pieces of ephemera. If you'd like to suggest or request a vehicle for the five minute guides after I finish the other LMDHs and before I start on the hypercars, feel free to do so in the comments. Additionally, for any of those of you who don't obsessively watch Bring a Trailer Auctions, have a look at this insane slot car table that sold earlier this week for over $200,000. Sometimes it just makes you wonder. Anyway, good evening all.